Welcome back guys um, So um, for this tutorial I'm just going to be talking a little bit about the uh, preference settings I uh, want to go to file go to edit as you can see here you see project settings we'll go over project settings and preferences so now let's go to pro, uh, project setting and the shortcut for that is command D as you can see there so on the project settings um, what project settings will do for you is here yeah, you get to change your frame rate um, at least the things that I get to use for the most part uh, you get to change the color of uh, your viewport here um, what else is there uh, you can go to info and this is just for copyright issues say for example you work on a project and you really want uh, you don't want someone to steal that from you you know uh, you can always put the auto which is you uh, put your copyright info and all that. Um, dynamics um, here I um, will use this when we get more to like uh, to future tutorials but um, this you're gonna love this dynamic session right here but yeah that's pretty much what project settings is but for the most part uh, what you'll be using project settings for mostly is this FPS because you mostly want to make sure it matches with maybe for example you bring in in the footage into cinema 4d you want to make sure the frame per seconds matches with um, the footage that you bring on to cinema 4d so now let us go to preferences so with preferences let me enlarge let me enlarge it a little bit preferences is just pretty much um the settings that you want to configure your cinema 42 as you can see it has interface so under interface you have language scheme you can always change it to light or dark i prefer dark for sure um bubble help i don't use that but you can always turn it on let us go to <clears throat> input device uh here it will just help with uh, moving things around inside the view part just play with it and um you you see uh what all that does open here this has to do with like your graphics um nothing crazy there uh view this is just here also the viewport um i really haven't messed with any of this files i think this is for where you want to save your files uh this right here is very important make sure you turn on auto save so with auto save so that because i know some of you are not yet used to saving your files so what auto save will help you do is so now that i've set it on five minutes it would automatically save after every five minutes and the limit to how many copies you can save is 10 you can always increase it you can decrease it anyhow that you want it uh unit unit is pretty much you can change you can see how this is in centimeters you can always change it to kilometers you know however you need that you know normally you used to read uh measurement uh i think there's really nothing much going on down there uh, for oh also in unit so you know you can always change your animations unit to either frame or seconds so now you can see it's on frame if i change it to seconds you see now it's changed to seconds but i'll leave it back on frame so let's go to memory uh memory is pretty much let me see um this is probably for your ram to be honest i haven't really messed with it like i said communication just forget that let's go to renderer uh renderer of course this is where you get to output whatever it is that you've uh, worked on and uh, there's really nothing much going on here as well you can let it be the way it is um body paint i don't really use that at least for now uh content browser this content browser i'll tell you a little bit about it this is just where um it gets to save maybe your 3d models your lighting kit say maybe you buy some sort of model online uh content browser is just where you can kind of like saving um some of the models and you know pretty much anything that will help you inside of cinema 40 as an external um object or so 
air um, this is uh, for dynamic air um, I'm not messed with that so material preview this is just uh, material right here um, you can mess around with it if you want uh, project man this is uh, very good for um, VFX stuff um, but I really haven't messed with it as well so I'll let that sketch and tune um, this is for uh, changing the render style of um, maybe whatever it is that you've worked on on Cinema 4D um, but mind you these are just preferences these are not this is just to help you with however you want to personalize the way you use Cinema 4D for yourself uh, timeline as well you can always change anything on there your importation and export um, so here these are the kind of files uh, types that you can import and export um, for Cinema 4D color scheme I'm not really okay with that but I guess you know it's just what it is but yeah um, that's pretty much it for preferences and once you have everything changed I think it saves automatically and you can always close that and um, that's it for this tutorial and I'll catch you guys in the next class ciao ciao